Hi guys, my name is Jason. I'm the executive chef of Puff and Stuff Catering. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be going through how to properly cook a steak from seasoning it correctly all the way to a nice medium rare, medium temperature. Okay, the first thing you guys want to do when you pull a steak out of the fridge is let it rest 20, 30 minutes, bring it up to room temperature. Next and most important thing is, is to season liberally with salt and pepper. Flip it over, make sure you get both sides. Now that your pan is hot, we're gonna add the steak. Most importantly, when putting it down, put tail first down and let it fall forward. That way, the oil doesn't splash up and burn you. So after two or three minutes, we take, we'll flip the steak over and what you see is this beautiful crust where the actual sugars from the meat have caramelized. Okay, now that we have a beautiful sear on both sides of the steak, we're gonna add a little flavor to it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take some whole bulbs of garlic that have been crushed to release the oil and some fresh rosemary. We'll throw that in. Last but not least, some fresh butter to help infuse. Again, we used oil to start with, <clears throat> that way when we do add the butter, it won't burn. And what we'll do is we'll incorporate the flavor of the rosemary and the flavor of the garlic by basting the steak with the butter. Now that we're done cooking the steak, we're gonna put it onto the cutting board and we're gonna let it rest anywhere from about three to five minutes. This way the steak has time to let the juices settle before we go to cut it. That way the juice inside won't run out. So last but not least, all that's left to do, cut the steak and eat it. So we're gonna cut it on a bias. And what we're left with is just a beautiful medium steak.